Hey, what's up guys, quick video today. So I'm talking about the arm as a piston um, and not flaring the elbow out too much when you throw a punch so that it becomes more like a flip, right, or a flick. I see it a lot of times um, on mostly beginner students or, or new students where they, they think they're whipping their arm out so the elbow flares out like this and it comes out from the bottom like that. Um, and you see it a lot too for the shituke where they think it's more like a, like a frisbee type of flick. You want to think in every, anything you throw out, there, it's got to be like a piston, right? So my, even though there's rotation coming here, and there is always going to be rotation with the elbow, but that rotation is still driving and spiraling through. It is never flipping and coming up, or, is it, or it's never like coming down, right? So karate is like straight to the point linear in that sense. Yeah, there are like circular motions, but if you're gonna throw something straight out, it needs to go straight and back. So there are a couple of drills you could do to help with that, right? So always having uh, an obstruction on your, on your shoulder. So if I have this punch here that I wanna go straight out, I'll put a, myself against the wall so that my arm does not flare out too much. So you, you can notice, even if I, I spiral my elbow, it's never spiraling out too much that I get blocked by that wall. It's still shooting through. And if I do this as like a traditional reverse punch, it's the same thing, right? Here, I feel tension against the bag here, but my elbow isn't flaring out so much that it's getting blocked by the bag and I'm kind of flipping myself underneath it, right? So I'm, I'm shooting here. Right? And then from there, you want to think, how do I push off and create that chain reaction like in that previous video? But again, this is, this is about being aware of your elbow flaring too far out when you have the spiral, right? So I could throw the punch here, right? I could throw the punch from guard, like, like in a combative sense. And that really helps you when you take yourself off the wall, you really have a very straight, traditional looking punch. And you're avoiding that motion of flipping out here. And you'll notice, you can, if you watch people punch, you'll notice that happens a little, even like this, when they punch and flare out. So just keep that in mind when you train, right? I want to think about straight lines, even when I spiral, I'm still going straight. That, that adds another drill that just came to mind. Imagine like you're catching something out of the air, right? So I have this ball here that I used to kind of, as a target practice. If this, was, this ball is here and I needed to just catch it out of the air, right? There's no way I'm gonna catch it out of the air if my, if my arm flips, right? and it kind of spirals out. I want to go straight and pull it back, right? So if I'm doing this, I really want to just catch and pull it back. And, and having that type of intention where it's straight and back and quick and sharp is, is how you're going to tag your opponent or, and use it practically in a practical fighting sense, right? So. Just keep that in mind. If I had this, the ability to lower this down, I would start from here, do the same thing, right? So just think straight and back. 